to so-called conservatives who are quick to identify the socialism of Democrats, if you vote for this spending monstrosity, you are no better. When you vote to pass out free money, you lose your soul and you abandon forever any semblance of moral or fiscal integrity. So the next time you see Republicans in high moral dudgeon claiming and complaining about spending of Democrats and socialism, remind them. Remind them if they supported this monstrous bill that really the difference between the parties is less Adam Smith versus Marx and more Marx versus Engels. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about the $600 quote unquote virus stimulus bill. Now, after months of negotiation, going back and forth, a lot of political games being played from the left to the right and vice versa, after job loss, human loss, business loss, financial ruin, uh, potential eviction, potential foreclosure, this is what we have, 600 US dollars. Now, I got to back up a little bit here and be honest. You know, I got to get out of my feelings and be honest. The bill is more than 600 US dollars. It's actually about 900 billion for the virus stimulus and about 1.4 trillion for government spending. So once you add it together, you got about 2.3 trillion dollars, but you get 600 US dollars if you make under 75,000 as a single person and less than 150 as a married couple you get $600 each. Now, you might even be able to get some of that money if you're an illegal alien. I was seeing some language in the 6,000 page bill that nobody's been able to read, but I was seeing some language in it that said something about, you know, you might not really be a citizen. You might kind of be illegal. And then I heard Rand Paul say that you might be able to get some money if you're dead. <laughs> it said it's going to take three years to eliminate sending out checks to dead people. So I, I, you see what kind of priorities we're dealing with here in America, but that's a different story. And I digress. My whole point is that you're going to get 600 bones. All right. Now to pay every American, all 325 million Americans, that money will cost about $200 billion. Well, the bill is for 900 billion, not even including the government spending, which is a whole different thing. The 900 billion is just for virus relief. Now, some of that money, aside from just the $600, is going to be for food stamp increasing. And that's going to be like $16 billion. There's going to be more PPP loans, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. Uh, a couple more things. But there's also foreign aid. Now, listen, I'm not against foreign aid. I'm not the kind of guy that says, don't give any money to Israel or anywhere else. I'm not that kind of guy especially when the foreign aid makes sense and when it doesn't really just become wasteful and when it's not a big piece of our money. I'm not totally against it. But what I will say is that if the government is in debt, we got problems over here that we're not tending to, then that should be our focus first rather than dealing with foreign governments. Okay. And then the virus stimulus bill, which we shouldn't really be spending, quite frankly, we should be going back to work and not even dealing with this, like there'd be no need for the virus stimulus to give you some money and try to hold you over if you could actually work. I'm totally against spending money that we shouldn't be spending and spending money that won't even really make a difference. They're talking about giving 10 million to Pakistan because women, they can't own bank accounts and the men control everything. And I think that 10 million is for like, uh, what's that, gender programs? What is that going to do? Okay, if you're sending $10 million to Pakistan for gender programs and Lindsey Graham comes on Fox News talking about, oh, I'm worried about Pakistan and women, they're oppressed. Okay, well, who's getting the money then? If women cannot make accounts, if women cannot even do anything without their husband's permission, where is the money going straight to the men to do whatever they want with? So how is that going to help at all? You're giving money to Burma, Cambodia, Nepal, Sudan, Israel, Ukraine, Venezuela, Egypt. Millions, hundreds of millions of dollars, if not billions of dollars to these countries. Why? Why is that part of the virus stimulus that is something that we need over here in America? Now, some things they're doing in America don't make any sense. They're giving what? Like, uh, 
was that 14 million to the Kennedy Center? All right. They gave them some money in the last bill, too. And what's the point? You can't even go there. They gave money to the Kennedy Center and the Smithsonian. Can you even visit these places right now? If you can't even go there, what's the point? If they can't survive during this pandemic, I mean, pandemic, then let them fail. I mean, I don't care about the Kennedy Center. Who cares about them? If we could actually go there, it might even make sense. I'm not saying we should give them the money, but at least let us be able to enjoy what we are getting robbed for at gunpoint. You understand? Like, you want to take my tax money and give it to these people. At least let me be able to partake in the festivities that my tax money is paying for. All right. I mean, let's just keep that real. This is just way too much spending. Just like Rand Paul was saying from the jump. Um, these tax and spend Republicans, what are we doing? I think it's only six people in the GOP, six people total. It might be more than that, but I think it was six GOPers that voted against this bill in the Senate. Rand Paul being one of them. I think Marsha Blackburn and a few others, you know, they are pretty rock solid. But to anybody that voted for this bill, I got to ask why? Why? As far as the stimulus money, 600 bucks. I mean, we could easily just spend 400 billion and raise it to uh, twelve hundred dollars which is still not a whole lot of money, but it's better than 600 after months. Like, see, it's one thing where you say, okay, we got a bill we're coming out with right after the first one where they gave 1200 and they'd be for $600. But this is months later now. This is a long time and people are still being shut down. We should just go ahead and end the shutdown period because it's damaging us. The, the debt we're incurring right now, we're never going to be able to pay. Uh, Rand Paul and going back to him he had a great speech I put that in the box if you want to see Rand Paul's speech in full but Rand Paul said that uh, our debt to GDP used to be like 52% back in the day but now it's 125% debt to GDP our GDP is dwarfed by our debt every year by our outstanding payments this is too much and we're just going deeper and deeper in the hole for what we're going to go 10 trillion dollars in the hole over this virus thing and it won't even have worked they're saying that okay we're wearing masks and socially distancing that's why the flu is down oh, okay that's why the flu is down so why are the virus cases quote-unquote skyrocketing is the mask working for the virus okay if it works for the flu and you know the quarantining and distancing works for the flu it is working for the virus too uh, apparently it's not so why are we still doing it OK, you go to China right now, they're wide open for business. Go to go to Wuhan, right where the whole thing started, the epicenter of the virus. You know, it was videos coming out early in this year, early last year, 2019. People dropping dead in the street, coughing up blood. People were getting welded into their homes, uh, put into involuntary penitentiaries. Now, I'm not even sure how they got to the point where they can be out in the open. Maybe those that had it and or the weak and feeble just died off or they got died off. But different story. How are they back to just having parties like ain't nothing going on? OK, they were on lockdown for like two months and that was it. And now they're back. I feel like we've been on rolling and revolving lockdowns for the entire year, depending upon where you live. And where you don't have lockdowns, you don't have so much of the, you know, the skyrocketing cases like Florida is pretty much good to go right now. Why is not? Why is it kind of rising in other places where you got to wear a mask and you got distance and stuff like that? Why, why are the cases rising? Why are the hospitalizations rising? Is it only the virus that's causing it or is it other things that are attributed to the virus? Either way it goes, the stimulus bill is a joke. Uh, Trump said he might rescind it because there were certain things in there aside from the low amount of money they're going to give us for, you know, the, the the break we've been on, the unforced break some of us have been on. Aside from that, there were other things in the bill he didn't like. So Trump may veto it. It passed the House and the Senate. So it's right there on the president's desk waiting for him to sign it. He may veto it. I'm not really sure if he will or he won't, but he should. The whole process in which these things are rolled out is flawed. They're giving you this big bill, 6,000 pages. No time to read it. You have no ability to be able to read what's in the bill. People are finding out what's going on by reading it themselves on Twitter. Just dedicating teams to read in the whole bill and seeing what kind of pork is in there. They got all kind of new laws, you know, a, a, a copyright movie and TV law, all kind of stuff that's in there. 
that is unrelated to the virus. And some of the things you might say, oh, that's a good law. That's fine. Why are you against it? Because the virus stimulus should be about virus stimulus and that's it. Not these other little pet projects and women in Pakistan and the Kennedy Art Center. Things I don't care about. Things that don't matter. And like I said, this will not be needed at all if we get back to normal into the shutdowns, into the masks, into all that other BS. Let us go back to work rather than relying upon you for any kind of monies. Because as we can see from the 600 US dollars, you're not going to be very good at giving us what we need to survive more than we can ourselves. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Do you think the virus stimulus bill is appropriate? 600 US dollars is all we need. We don't need any more. We don't need 1200. We don't need to go back to work. Stay locked down forever and have the government feed us whenever they want. So if you're at a job where you're able to eat big steak dinners every night and you can't do that anymore by order of the government and then they come through and give you a grain of rice every three days, you got to be happy about that? Oh, oh yeah, thanks government for giving me this rice. Meanwhile, I had steak every night. Now I can't eat it because you said I couldn't, but I thank you for this uh, grain of rice. This is delicious. I'm going to cherish it with all my heart and soul. I mean, come on. This is stupid. This is dumb. Let's get back to normal life. I mean, that's the solution. All the other stuff is just not necessary to even, I don't even want to hear it. Stop it. I don't want to talk about it. Just give us our normal life back. I'm glad we're back to normal down here in Tennessee, but other parts of the globe, other parts of the country, not so much. If they can party like, and, and know tomorrow in Wuhan, China, where the whole thing started, we can at least get back to work over here in the States fully in every state, every city. And not be so worried about the virus, having it consume our lives on a daily, everyday, consistent basis. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace. Peace.